are completely destroyed. We're all dead already inside. Now at 10, killed at the age of 18, protests and a vigil tonight for a young man named Andres Guardado. L.A. County Sheriff deputies shot and killed him, and tonight his family is demanding answers. And customers pouring back into nail salons tonight as another phase of reopening gets underway. And President Trump's first rally amid this pandemic gets the green light from the Supreme Court. But a tense mood grips Tulsa tonight with both supporters and protesters. Hello, everyone. I'm Juan Fernandez, and tonight for Jeff Vaughn. I'm Susie Sa. It was breaking news last night here on KCAL 9. L.A. County Sheriff's deputy shooting and killing an 18-year-old security guard while he was working in Gardena. His family has kept vigil at the site ever since. And tonight, they are still demanding answers from the Sheriff's Department. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen has our story from there. After a day of demonstrations, protesters say they plan to hit the streets again on Sunday to make sure that the community doesn't forget the name Andres Cuadrado, who was a student at L.A. Trade Tech College studying to be a nurse. No matter your background, the agony of a parent needs no translation. Tonight, the family of Andres Guadado visited the Grohl Memorial near the East Gardena Auto Body Shop, where the 18-year-old was shot and killed by L.A. County Sheriff's deputies. His sister spoke during a demonstration that's calling for transparency in his case. They won't let me or my family see my brother's body, and I want to see my brother's body. The Sheriff's Department says deputies were patrolling the area on Thursday when they came across Guadado. They say he looked towards deputies, then took out a gun and ran. There was a short foot chase which ended with a confrontation that involved a deadly shooting. Guadalvo's boss said that the teen had been working as a security guard at the body shop. He also said that his security cameras captured what led up to the shooting, but investigators have taken his video equipment. He was so great. He was working two jobs, trying to go to school to become a registered nurse. The Sheriff's Department says a gun recovered at the scene was unmarked, and they say the weapon had a loaded large-capacity magazine that's prohibited. It's not his gun. Y'all framed him. Someone else did or y'all did. The Sheriff's Department says Guadalvo was not a state-licensed security guard, and detectives say he was not wearing clothing or uniform to indicate he was working in that capacity. His family disputes those claims. In East Gardena, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.